today I'm gonna show you how to make an easy, classic, no-bake southern dessert. It's banana pudding. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. First off, we're making our easy, delicious pudding. This is such a childhood classic of mine, and it brings back all the nostalgic memories. We're gonna add two cups of whole milk into a large bowl, and it's cold right now. You don't need to warm it up or anything. One can of sweetened condensed milk. If you know me, I love this in my coffee. It is the best treat ever. Get it all in there. Now we're adding in one packet of instant pudding. If you wanna make your own pudding from scratch, you can totally do that. I have directions for that on the blog post. Sprinkle that in, in you go. Now we're gonna whisk this until combined and we wanna get all the lumps out. So whisk, whisk, whisk. It sets up really quick though. It truly is instant pudding. This is thoroughly mixed and silky smooth. So it's time to chill in the fridge for about five minutes to give it time to set up. Now we're gonna whip up two cups of heavy cream along with two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla. Two tablespoons of sugar and eagle eye measurements of two teaspoons of vanilla. Whip it up until you have nice, firm, but still silky peaks. If you over whip cream, it turns into butter. Okay, it happens quickly. This is just about ready. I like to finish my cream off by hand, so just mix it up. It gives you the best control because you wanna take it to optimal stiffness without over whipping it, which tends to happen if it's just going on automatic. And here you can see that is a nice firm peak. As soon as that's ready to come out of the fridge, we're gonna fold this in. In the meantime, let's do a little bit of prep work with our bananas. For this recipe, you want your bananas to be at peak flavor without being mushy. So a little bit of browning, some brown spots is totally fine. You don't want them to be like banana bread territory or that super firm, like not tasty banana. We're gonna slice our bananas into thin coins. So slice, slice, slice. It doesn't really matter the thickness, by the way. So do whatever you prefer. Mine are about a quarter of an inch thick unless I look up at the camera when they're done, and then they're not. Continue that for the rest of your bananas. Do not cut them too far in advance because you don't want them to be browned. Depending on the size of your bananas, you're gonna wanna cut three to four large-ish bananas. Do you think it's been five minutes since that has been in the fridge? <laughs> well, will <laughs> see. If you're making this in a baking dish or something hidden, don't worry about the bananas looking perfect. But if you're making this in a trifle dish and you're gonna have it on display, try and get nice and evenly sized coins. This will make more sense in a minute when we put this together. My bananas are chopped and that custard is chilled. Let's get to folding. Fold the whipped cream into our set custard. So add it in and we'll just use a spatula. Fold it in. You don't have to be super precious about it, but it's nice to be gentle with your whipped cream. By the way, if you like my videos, hit that subscribe button in the corner and click notifications so you know when I make a new video. It's twice a week. This is heaven on a stick right now. I can't tell you how much I love whipped cream and vanilla, so this recipe is amazing because it comes together so quickly. There's no baking involved. There's almost no dishes to do, and it's just really stunning at the end as well. This is ready to assemble now. I'm gonna break out my trifle dish. Okay, so today I'm using Nilla wafers, same on both sides. They are a childhood favorite. This is my after school cookie, so it brings back a lot of memories. You could definitely use chess cookies, that's a southern favorite, or shortbread cookies work really well in this as well. Okay, so into your bowl, you're gonna add one layer of cookies. Now we're adding a quarter of the mixture to our trifle dish. It doesn't have to be exact, so don't worry about it, but estimate about a quarter. And then just smooth out a layer with a spatula. So you wanna have a nice even layer on top of those cookies. Add another layer of cookies on top of this, but this time there will also be cookies on the edge. So just be aware. 
using a whole box of Nilla wafers, you might want to have two boxes handy in case you're doing any snacking. <laughs> Some people love the cookies to be kind of crunchy and it pairs well with the creamy pudding and whipped cream. I'm a crisp cookie person, but you can let me know in the comments if you like it fully set. Now we're gonna get to the bananas. We're gonna add a layer of bananas just on top of the cookies. After you have a layer of bananas down, it's time to add in another quarter of your pudding and we're gonna smooth it out once more. Time for another layer of cookies and more bananas. I think you get the picture. Now we're adding a layer of bananas onto the side right here. So just press the coins against the glass. More pudding, smooth that out. And now one more layer of cookies at the edge, some more cookies on the bottom. Sprinkle those remaining bananas on top and we're gonna to top with the remaining pudding. If you're wondering, is something missing? Yes, you're missing a mound of whipped cream on top. So mix up one more batch of whipped cream, that's one cup of cream, a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, now smooth it over. Just have some playful wisps. The final step is to crumble a few cookies on top. That is so delicious. You can eat this right now like I'll be doing, or you can let it set up and even have it overnight. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my no bake playlist. That was creamy and dreamy. I'll see you in the next video.